Within the shadow of the famous Golden Dome, 1973 marks Notre Dame's 86th football season and the 10th under head coach Eric Parsi. In their first test, the Fighting Irish opened the season at home against Northwestern, led onto the field by the Irish guard and the Notre Dame band. There are many question marks. How well will Notre Dame fill crucial gaps left by graduation? How well will freshmen and sophomores perform under the pressure of major competition? What effect will the two consecutive losses in the final games of the 72 season have on this young team? Under sunny autumn skies, some of the questions are about to be answered by Coach John Ponce Wildcats. After an exchange of punts, Northwestern's second kick from its own 21-yard line is blocked by freshman lineman Ross Brown. The ball rolls out of the end zone for a safety, and the Irish have their first two points of 1973 on the board. Junior quarterback Tom Clements starts a touchdown drive with a 15-yard pass to Dave Casper. Art Best then goes over from the two, and Bob Thomas's kick makes the score, nine to nothing. Early in the second quarter, after marching 47 yards to the Wildcats two, junior back Ron Goodman takes a pitch out from Clements and sweeps left in for the score. Bob Thomas makes the point after it's 23 to nothing. Typical of Notre Dame's ferocious defense, which holds Northwestern to a game total of 146 yards, the third and 18 play. Anderson, Northwestern's quarterback, is sacked by Fanning on the Wildcats one. After a Northwestern punt, the Irish drive leads to a first down on the purple 18. Clements fades to his left and hits best, but Pickerson's tackle on the one-yard line stops a score. And on the very next play, Clements, on a fake handoff, leaps over for the fourth Irish touchdown. Thomas's extra point makes it 30 to nothing Notre Dame, with still 6.46 to play in the first half. Once again, Notre Dame forces Northwestern to punt, and from its own 21-yard line, Clements fades back, lays one out to fullback Wayne Bullock, who takes it to the Irish 46 for a first and 10. Notre Dame works the ball to the Northwestern 25, where with fourth down and five to go, Clements rolls right. Finds tight end Casper on the eight, as he barely misses the touchdown, cutting for the corner. After a motion penalty sets the Irish back to the seven on second down, Clements sweeps to the left and behind excellent blocking, cuts in and goes over untouched. Thomas's kick is good, making the score 37 to nothing. And that's the way the first half ends. After a scoreless third period, quarterback Kim Gerkins leads the Wildcats on the 77 yard march to the Notre Dame seven. But on first down, Browner races in and sacks Gherkin, forcing a fumble, which is recovered by Jim Stock as he falls on the ball at the Irish 31. Late in the fourth quarter, senior quarterback Cliff Brown moves Notre Dame to the Northwestern 21, from where Gary Dominic takes the handoff, and with the aid of a key block by Willie Townsend, scores Notre Dame's sixth touchdown of the day untouched. The Irish make it clear that they are very much in the national championship race. 